All right, guys, good morning. So we have a no heat call. We got a Lennox furnace that we've been maintaining over the years. And customers stating that there is no heat. So I'm just gonna get my knee pad down here, see what's going on. First thing I'm gonna check That alternating flash is one. Flashes, so it's on lockout. So let's see what's happening. Alright, so we have some rust damage. Main blower's on. So I'm gonna get you guys set up and we'll reset this. Okay. So I have the meter hooked up. Right down here is a pin for the flame sensor. I got one of my leads on there. And down here, one of my other leads. So let's fire it up and see what our flame sense is. Ideally, we want to see above 1.0. Okay, so that got snuffed out pretty quick. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove that burner box. Perhaps we have an intake that's blocked. So I'll remove the burner box and see if that helps. Burner box is off, restarting the system now. So I'll check this, if it still snuffs itself out. I'm going to check my pressure switches. Some of these collector boxes have been revamped. The orifice size on them is a little small and they start to plug up. So we'll try that. So my flame sensor looks okay. As you can see, the, uh, the burners are staying off with the burner box on. So let's put the burner box on. It's going to be kind of hard because I'm holding this down. See how that snuffed itself out? It tells me that the intake's plugged. So I'm going to go outside and check that intake. Before I do that, I'm going to give a look at the uh, heat exchanger as well. Very cramped in here. So far it looks good. Okay, so overall from the bottom, this thing's looking okay. Got some dirty secondary. Definitely lots of grime build up on that. You can see how caked it's getting. I'm also going to check the primary from up top. So I'll put this back together, go check my vent, sorry, excuse me, go check my venting. All right. Oh boy. Oh my God, it's a lot of snow. just shut off on me and I heard the gas valve sputter. There you go. So I don't think we have a blocked intake. I think it's something else. So I'm going to check my pressure switches and see what's going on with those. So let's have a look. Just tapped into the switch. 
switches now. See that this one might be fluttering a bit. Just want to rule out it's not the pressure switch. I checked the pressure switch tubing and those seem clear. Alright, let's test the other side. This switch here <clears throat> on the right side is not giving me any voltage drop at all. Okay. So I'm wondering if we have a bad switch here. I'm going to tee into these switches, check my draft, then jump out the switch, see if it gives me any issues. <clears throat> so draft on the left side is good. I got negative 0.2.2 and it's only rated for 0.95. So switches are okay. it out immediately. Something's going on with that intake. Okay. <clears throat> Flames on. Drafts good. Snuffs itself out. So this thing's starving for air. I'm gonna go blow out the, uh, I'm gonna do my best to blow out the uh, intake on this, see what's going on. All right, so I've checked both sides, both giving me constant continuity on the uh, switches. So we know that's good. Okay. This one's being a bit troublesome, so I've watched my, uh, my flame sense. My flame sense is always above two or around there. That's fine. Burner box, occasionally when I put it on, it snuffs itself out. Thing is, is my draft is always good on both sides. Rated for 0.95 and I'm getting 1.7. Okay. Checked all the hoses, blew them out. Check the orifices on the switch. They're all good. Burner box is on, no problems. Took my shop back outside to the intake. So that little fluctuation, it pressure is when I remove the uh, burner box and put it back on. Okay guys, I switched to the Redfish. I'm now on the TechLink app. I'm starting to think that we just have a fluttering pressure switch that's opening. I jumped out the switch, it stayed on steady. Okay. And then when I removed the jumper, I noticed it started happening again. I got some fluttering voltage drop. So I'm going to run it again. If it fails on me, not jumped out, then I'll jump it out again and then we'll see about getting a pressure switch. Freaking weird. I hate these stupid switch issues where they just bleep open for a second. Sometimes you just think it could be the board. It's my draft has held above 1.5 the entire time, both sides. All right, so it just failed again. The switch is open. So I got a backup switch right here. I'm gonna throw that in and see what's going on. All right, so <clears throat> got a new switch in. This is the old one. I'm just not sold on the switch because it had continuity holding every time. So 
This is holding steady at zero volts. We'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully it's good. What a pain in the ass. And the weird thing too was the fact that when I first got here and I would put this on, it would snuff itself out right away. But what I'm thinking might have been the cause was every time I did that, a little dip in pressure, right? Very small, even though it was above 1.5. Maybe we had a weak switch. Okay guys, so I'm wrapping it up. Bit of an oddball. Uh, ended up being the pressure switch, pretty sure. Uh, weak switch. The reason I think the um, switch would open when I would put that burner box on is just any little flutter of pressure or draft would cause that switch to intermittently open. Um, so poor contacts on the inside. So I swapped the switch out, it stayed on every time. Other than that, that's it for that one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment down below. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here